Let's click on all rewards. The first 30 rewards on this list every day will always be the most recently added rewards. You can always search by code, like a lesson code, or even like a lesson name, you can search by that too. I'm going to scroll down, just taking my thumb and dragging, and I'm going to tap on open link because when I tap on open link, as long as I don't have any of the Google apps installed on my device, it will open as a new tab. So I'm gonna hit open link. Now, this is going to not be how I want to show it to my students. That's really tiny. So what I will do is I will actually turn my device sideways. And when I turn my device sideways, it's going to make it full screen. I will still see the tab bar at the top. And the way to get rid of this tab, tab bar is to click on the A, A up there at the top. And you can select hide toolbar. Now this is just in Safari. In Chrome, there is a little picture frame box and that makes it full screen. Whenever I tap open link and I have the slides app installed, it's going to auto open in the Google Slides app. I would just hit play. Slides app tends to not load very fast because it was not meant to handle tons of animations and cute GIFs and really high resolution images. So that's why I definitely recommend removing those Google apps. Pick a dino. Sad dino or happy dino? <gasps> dino is happy. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, where is dino? <gasps> dino is happy. Yeah, good. To get back to slide kick, what I would do is tap my tab button at the bottom. And this looks different across devices. Most of the time it's two squares. So I'm going to tap on tabs and I'm going to go back to Slidekick. When I go back to Slidekick, if I really like this reward and I wanna save it for later, I would then probably hit the favorite button. And whenever I tap favorite, I would be able to then see it under my favorites menu. Let's look at the reward types. I can also browse by reward type. These are especially useful for um, people who are new to using Google Slides because you can read the directions and suggestions for each of our types of rewards. You can also browse by type as well. So let's say I want to look at more of those pick ones that we just did. So I could tap on it and I could read some general directions and some suggestions for extension. And then I can tap up here and see all of the pick ones. Keep watching this series and see how Slide Kick's going to make your life so much easier. Thanks guys.